My name is Cesar Cuauhtémoc García Hernández. I was born and raised in McAllen, Texas. My parents came to the United States for the same reason that so many other immigrants come to the United States, to give their children a better future than they had the opportunity to have. The first experience that I had with the law was immigration. It was Border Patrol officers uh, who were uh, driving through the streets of the community in which we lived. We should think about the border as a series of organic communities that have existed and codependent on one another since long before this was the place where two countries met. These are communities like the 135,000 people who live in McAllen, Texas, my hometown, the place where I was born and raised. So immigration law was, was what law consisted of as far as I was concerned when I was a child. Uh, so it's been with me uh, from the very beginning. Living in a binational community is, is certainly unique and certainly a positive experience. It, 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 is, uh, it allows for cultural enrichment uh, from two different cultures, cultures that in many ways overlap and are compatible, but in many ways are very, very different. I think it's imperative that Congress uh, come to terms with the reality of immigration law in the United States. The reality is we have approximately 11 million who are 11 million people who are living and working and making their lives uh, in, in in our communities from Southern California to Northeastern Maine. Uh, and who are constantly in a legal limbo. That's simply an untenable situation and Congress is the only body that can do something about it. It's time for them to act.